final step which is our depreciation key so how to create the depreciation key so you can come here so in the system if you go into the system here the steps need to be followed you have to go to the financial accounting asset accounting depreciation valuation method depreciation key and calculation methods sorry you don't need to expand the calculation method in this case because um, this is the depreciation key basically under here so the steps by right actually if you look uh, this is the first step where you're expanding and the second and then the depreciation valuation method depreciation key and then this is where exactly you are in the sixth step already here so please note before creating your own depreciation key you need to do the steps here so this is where calculations uh, will be done by the system so now we have already done this so what we are doing here is maintain depreciation click on here so now i am going to copy my existing depreciation key or i am going to create a new one so what i do i always copy the existing one so here the key which i'm going to create so i just say yes so um, production unit method p2m1 production unit method so i didn't change anything so you can you just need to maintain only acquisition allowed as a only capitalization so in this case so we are not touching anything here so don't touch anything here we don't need to maintain any of these so this is if you have any questions on these how this is used yeah you can still come back to me but uh, in this video i can't explain all this so um yeah so this is where now this is not an example so i would say production units method remaining units so here so click on so now this is active right so now before i'm just going to the um so here this is where you need to assign the step number one what we have done which is factory three production units method and here we are going to just simply use the existing one and this is also we are going to use number three and here we are going to use the prd so you need to maintain all these under step what you have done in the step number one is the base method and the step number two we have done the declining balance explained and the production period control and the step number three you have done already so you are assigning these in the depreciation key here so without these it is difficult for the depreciation key to do the calculation so please note this should follow same as your base method let's say here in the method you already follow the ordinary depreciation so in this case you have to be maintained here which is a other depreciation so it's not a either straight line or it's not either a special depreciation or tax so you can leave this blank and then you need to you can keep it as it is in these two cases so uh, this is like an increase in depreciation and expired useful life when it is shifting the depreciation in the scrap value consideration is controlled by 
cut off values if you maintain any cut off value key for the depreciation then that will be considered for calculating the depreciation so hope you understand now about the depreciation key so uh, this is how you need to maintain all this click save so now go back so now you can activate so let's say click on activate and then save. so usually you need to make sure sometimes in some cases it won't activate so it may be migrated or inactive so try to activate so let's say if you have some issues in the depreciation key then my recommendation don't use that when if anything dumps or anything when you are assigning the depreciation key try to delete that don't assign in the any other assets if it is in the development then you create a new key by copying the standard one so that's always the best way sometimes uh, some dumps will come because of the depreciation key so you have to be very careful while creating okay so we are done with our depreciation key so by the end of this lesson what we have learned here let me put it this way uh, here in this case i have explained you what is the business example we are taking and uh, i explained you and what are all the steps and configuration steps are needed so we are done with the one and two so now let's go into the third item where is the master data this is where we are going to explain thank you guys mm -hmm.